Lebanon's Shiite movement Hezbollah buried prominent, uh, prominent activist Samir Kantar today after he was killed on Sunday by a suspected Israeli airstrike. Kantar was in Damascus as several rockets hit a densely populated neighborhood of the Syrian capital. Now, no one has claimed responsibility for the attack, but Kantar was believed to be a target of the Israeli military. Let's get more on this now with our guest who joins me from Jacksonville, Florida, Hilal Kashan, professor of political science at the American University in Beirut, knows this topic very well. First of all, just let's, let's get this clear. Is there any chance that this is not Israel's doing? Well, it doesn't really matter if it was carried out by the Israelis or by the Free Syrian Army, as it claims. The fact remains that this was a strategic blow to Hezbollah, and the primary beneficiary is Israel. Why was Cantor's name so well known in Israel? Why, in particular, would Israel want to target him? Can you remind our viewers of who he was? Yeah, of course. I mean, he was... Um, uh, he was a prisoner in Israel. He was responsible for uh, an attack on an Israeli settlement in 1979, and he was blamed for killing four uh, Israelis during that attack, and he spent 29 years in an Israeli prison before he was swapped in 2008 between Israel and Hezbollah. So he was a prisoner of Israel for almost 30 years, then he's released, he joins Hezbollah, and what did he mean for the Shiite movement now? What did he represent for Hezbollah? Well, uh, he is more of a symbol than a real strategic uh, asset. One cannot compare him, for example, to the late Imad Mughni, who was assassinated by the Israelis in Damascus in 2008. You know... The 2006 war between Israel and Hezbollah was over swapping prisoners with the Jewish state and, uh, and, the, uh, and the return of uh, Qantar to Lebanon was a major demand by Hezbollah and that was achieved. Having said that, I don't really think that as important as it was for the Israelis to kill him, I don't think he was killed merely because he was a prisoner and that the Israelis wanted to settle scores with him. He was killed for strategic reasons. So, so if I understand what you're saying, you're saying from an operational standpoint, he wasn't that, from a military standpoint for Hezbollah, not that important, correct? Exactly. No, uh, having said that, uh, what maybe more important is not the symbolic assassination of Qantar, but the eight other people who were with him at the time of the attack. I understand they were uh, top-ranking uh, Hezbollah military uh, officers. Now, Qantar is said to have been uh, the leader trying to open up a new front for Hezbollah in the Golan Heights, essentially a new front uh, that Israel would have had to deal with. What information do you have on that? Yeah, well, I actually, you know, 